tengo el honor de hablar de, del nuevo del new stock uh, refactoring. Uh, voy a intentar de hacer la introducción en, uh, en castellano, después uh, I will continue en inglés afterwards. Um, soy, entonces, uh, yo trabajo con, uh, uh, para Odoo como developer de, en, uh, como developer en, uh, en uh, stock y logistics, entonces la producción, la, el, el stock, uh, la producción es, es la versión uh, 10 y para la versión 11 vamos un poco a optimizar también uh, el, el inventario. Entonces, ¿por qué hacemos un refactoring? Normalmente es una cosa técnica, no interesante, uh, porque es, eso va simplemente uh, simplificar el código y uh, tiene un poco de... de uh, puede, puede optimizar uh, para mantener el código y, y la performance. Um, pero hay una cosa que uh, queremos también es la flexibilidad. Eh, eh, en, eh, por, por ejemplo, SAP no, es flexi no tiene flexibilidad. Uh, si quiere cambiar uh, alguna cosa no es fácil. Uh, y aquí uh, vamos luego. Vamos, uh, aquí uh, será posible de cambiar uh, cosas en el pasado. De cambiar el inventario en el pasado. Lo que es una cosa que no quiero tan mucho, uh, porque uh, tenemos, muy grande, tenemos muy uh, grandes empresas que, traba, que, tra, que trabajan uh, con, uh, con Odoo sin, uh, sin problemas, con uh, grandes almacenes, con almacenes, y uh, ese no es un, un, un problema. Uh, per, pero para uh, startups, para nueve proyectos puede estar interesante. Y también uh, puede ver con, uh, en, la versión, uh, en la versión 10, uh, puede ver que uh, puede, puede cambiar el orden de compra, orden de venta, purchase order, sales order, puede cambiar las cantidades uh, sin problema. Y, uh, en, en todo tiempo. Um, entonces, um, ¿qué, ¿qué vamos a hablar? Hay dos cambios técnicos um, grandes, que es el, uh, hay los, uh, operaciones, los pack operaciones, donc en un picking tiene uh, moves y tiene uh, pack operations. Y, um, ahora tiene dos uh, tabs, es una cosa que, que podemos visualizar y, uh, y, uh, y vamos a simplificar uh, allá. Um, una gran diferencia también es, la, es los quants que, que ahora cuando reserve, uh, cuando reserve un, un, un quant, es va, eso va a dividir, y, uh, tiene muchos quants uh, con el, el nuevo uh, Refactoring, eso va a no, no, no andar así, no pasar así. Um, y uh, que lo que es importante también es, es las excepciones. Queremos flexibilidad. Uh, uh, hablé con, uh, con Jordi y me dice, es importante también en MRP que la, que la, la gente pueda anular las uh, órdenes, los órdenes de producción y, tus, eh, y todo eso. Um, y eso tiene, ¿por qué puede cambiar cosas en el pasado? Tiene, implica también, eso implica también uh, la valorización de, de, uh, del, del, del inventario. Um, y después uh, voy a intentar de hacer un, un, una, una demo. So I'll continue in English, but it's easier because it's easier for me. Um, <laughs> And I probably made a lot of mistakes. Um, so um, maybe I need to go that way. So in, uh, in uh, version 9, 10, 
you have uh, two different tabs each time. So there is an initial demand that comes from your uh, sales order, that comes from your purchase order. And when you reserve or when you, uh, when you have the necessary stock, it will automatically create the, the operations tab uh, with, the, with the operations you are going to do. So the initial demand or the quantities uh, and so on. And then afterwards, you see this tab of operations. Um, normally, you don't touch the, if you have purchase orders and sale orders, you don't touch too much to the, uh, at the initial demand. And you work only with operations. Also, the barcode people working in the warehouse they work on this uh, operations uh, tab and they are very happy to do so. Um, uh, what we are, so what this is going to change in, uh, in version 11. In version 11, we will have uh, two kinds of views. So you have, we will have um, those, uh, those moves and you will have instead of uh, a many to many. So when before it's like you need to create a relation between those that initial demand and the operations. So those have so and this is made on the fly when you validate the the order. Uh, here in the here in the new version, you will this will be your initial demand. So these lines will be your initial demand, and in the details you will be able to specify uh, what you did exactly. So also the locations uh, will appear here. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's one view, and the other view uh, will be like the operation. So in, so here normally we might put a, an extra uh, a button to see the initial demand, but we'll immediately work with the operations. But the big difference is that between the operations and the initial demand, you had uh, many to many, and now you will always have uh, a many to one. So that's the that's a big difference. So and uh, this has quite some uh, some impact on a lot of uh, well, uh, on a lot of code. I a norm, but normally on the on the way you work with the system, uh, it does not need to it does not need to change. So you can uh, use this new view, or you can fall back to the old view. The only difference is that. We will put the lots again into the into the line like it was in uh, in uh, version eight. Um, so, like I said, uh, stock moves are your in, your initial demand. Um, they they specify between which location zones you need uh, how many how many pieces, um, and they they provide you with the forecast. Um, we think about uh, even. Uh, removing the procurement, but that we won't do that now. We w it might be done in the future, um, because the moves and the procurements kind of do the same thing. Uh, in the and uh, what should be the uh, well, big difference also is that, um, and that's the problem now is that you see a lot of moves. So every time you run the schedulers and you run your order points, at each time it will create an extra move. Uh, I'll try to merge them so in the so that in this uh, so that in this view you won't see a lot of well, we try to avoid to see a lot of uh, moves of the same of the same product. So we try to simplify everything is done to to simplify uh, things and because uh, we want to make Odoo simple, we don't want to make it uh, difficult to use. And it should be, yeah, okay, should be split less. And then, so does, so we, before we had pack operations, because it's a one, many to one now, we will call them stock move lines. So, um, and this has also has, this has a, an important advantage. There's that now you have pack operations only in the picking. And for example, with uh, version 10 of MRP, MRP we had uh, stock move lots in the, in the, in the MRP. And uh, what we will do now is, uh, is unify that model. So everywhere you ha will have stock moves and stock move lots, uh, stock move lines, I'm sorry. So in inventory, in production, and in, um, and in uh, pickings. So 
uh, sometimes people had a difficult because they saw in the traceability report only the location zones. And through that, you can always fall back on those stock move lines. And with that, you will always have the exact locations. And also, traceability will be calculated uh, through that. One disadvantage of the stock move lines, or it's maybe, it's maybe an advantage, is that the, so in, before in the operations and your picking, you could say, I will move one pack entirely. Um, here, there will be a way to do that too, but um, the pack will be split. So you will have, instead of um, I will move uh, box one, it will say uh, I will move 100 products of box one and 100 other products of box one. Uh, but um, there will be a way to see, OK, this is an entire box, and uh, you, you move it. Um, so there is a, so this is the this was the first this was the first part. Now I come to the second part about the new uh, quants. So before the the quants were were split and were moved, and that's an advantage because you can, that was an advantage because you could uh, follow the entire uh, traceability for for every quant. What's happening now in uh, what will be happening in version 11 is just that uh, when you move something, the quants will be diminished in the source and will be increased in the, in the destination. And we won't have any quants anymore in uh, customer locations and so on. This breaks traceability, um, but we will recalculate uh, traceability through, uh, through a report. Um, and also, the uh, yeah, I can show that report here. So uh, based on the, this is, uh, there's a similar report now already in uh, in uh, version 10 with uh, manufacturing. So, um, but here it's not done in manufacturing, it's done just with uh, stock. And the advantage of the report is that you can see for every uh, product you have in stock or that went to your customer, uh, where does it come from? Uh, does it come, from, for example, when it was with a manufacturing order, you can, uh, you, can, uh, you can see how it comes from this manufacturing order. And then uh, these components were in it, and they were sourced there. And maybe it was manufactured again from another manufacturing order, and so on. So this entire flow, it's really in, this report is really interesting to follow up your uh, uh, your stock. Um, you can all it, you can in uh, version nine ten you can also eight nine ten you can also uh, see it uh, in the quant. Uh, you see the entire or in the move you see the entire history of what happened with your uh, piece of stock. But here we. We replaced it by this uh, traceability report. Uh, and so, for example, here uh, you can see that uh, four p pieces are at a customer. Uh, and uh, it did a pick pack. And uh, it went in uh, with the 25 pieces. And uh, we, have, we still have uh, uh, 46 pieces. <laughs> um, yeah, OK. <laughs> uh, so, there are, uh, so this is the way it works. You can see for every piece, for every for every lot where it uh, where it came from, and um, and uh, yeah, you can see for every lot where it comes from. If you have a, a part that just goes to stock, and then the other part, uh, then there is a, a small part that is already at the at the customer. Um, one thing that change that will change also is the reservation. What happens now in the reservation is that uh, for every picking. Um, if you have a delivery order, you check if you have enough stock. You check, uh, is there enough reservation? Um, and, um, and you reserve also with the link between the quant that split and the move. And this has changed also. So the reservation will be represented by the stock, of stock move lines and will be represented by the quantity on that stock move line. Um, so yeah. Uh, immediately. So instead of having first uh, making the links, then creating the pack, uh, the pack operations, uh, we, we immediately meet, create the stock move line as a, as a reservation. And we also try not to go into, uh, we also try to, to, to be correct with the reservations that you cannot reserve more than there is in stock. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, okay. um, 
Of course, changing, and changing stock in the past is dangerous. For big companies are not going to do that. SAP does not do it. But sometimes you have startups and small companies uh, that, and, and new projects where you need to be able to change everything. And, um, if I, but of course it's dangerous. And um, certainly if it's about traceability and lots, and that's why when you cha will change something, we have the chatter as an important tool to track those changes. So if uh, you change, for example, a validated picking and you say, okay, I uh, did not receive uh, 100 pieces, but I only received 10, uh, then you will at least have a message in the chatter saying, okay, uh, be, uh, be careful because something changed. Uh, other well, big companies will probably just create, an, well, like it's done now, just create an uh, inventory adjustment. What's also, uh, also, uh, what's also difficult is that uh, sometimes you change uh, what you received, but it has implications because it was MTO, so it has implications on your uh, on your sale order, on your pick back ship, on your what happens well, what happens afterwards. And that's also something where if you change the first one, you could put a message in the in the following ones. Also, if you change the initial demand uh, by accident, normally you shouldn't do that, but over 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 a receipt. Uh, it should also warn the, peer, the purchase order or the sales order. Like now, you also get a warning on the purchase order or on the uh, serial order or, or on the sale order when you change the quantities. You get a warning. I can show that. So, uh, so this warning is like this. So if you change now in version 10, if you change, you, if you confirm a purchase order afterwards, you change the quantities. Um, here in the here down in the in the chat, in the chatter, you see what you changed, and that's important f to follow to follow it up. Um, what's also important, but also what's also practical now in the in the in the chatter is that they added uh, the possibility to schedule an activity. So if there is a if there is a problem, if you need to correct quantities, you can schedule an activity and say uh, maybe. Maybe we need to cancel the remaining of the of the sale order because the purchase order, because the vendor cannot deliver in time. Um, so, and I think that's that's a handy tool. Uh, it, it's in handy to use the chatter as a way to handle exceptions instead of always going to those procurement uh, exceptions. And but we are not always. We are still not 100% sure when and how we are implementing it at, uh, at the moment. So if you have uh, better ideas, <laughs> uh, come, come, on it, uh, come tell me. Um, but I think it's a, it's a good, it's, at least you should not fight about these things and the chatter is a good way to do that. Um, stock valuation will change also. So as you can change in the past, what we need to do is to now the average price is stored on the product form, and this um, this will change because um, because if you change the average in the in the past, you need to you need to have a mechanism of, of calculating everything. That's why we think uh, the average should be calc should be computed auto uh, automatically, um, and this can can be done by putting the prices on the on the stock moves. And uh, calculating calculating everything again with the total price uh, on the stock move. Um, what will change also is that now we have a cost method of a real price, so that's the quant that is followed everywhere. With the new quant system, you could also create some kind of real <coughs> price, but if you put things together in the same thing, it uh, becomes more FIFO. So we have a combination now of uh, financial FIFO and uh, real price. So. Uh, what we are uh, going to do is uh, to also use financial uh, FIFO and LIFO, on the, but we use the stock moves for that. Um, so, um, so mostly uh, FIFO, LIFO is, uh, is, uh, is done, but it's, uh, now it's a logistical one and then it will be a pure uh, financial one. Which well, logistics and financial are sometimes the same, but not always. Try to demonstrate something. 
Um, it's an extra an extra thing I did. So you have let's create a sale order. For ten pieces. Confirm them. Uh, it's an MTO product, so it should uh, create my purchase order. I hope it does. Yep. Then um, I'll duplicate, but maybe it's for customer two. And it's 15 pieces instead. I confirm and yeah, to outdo it, we'll put it in the same purchase order. So you will have one purchase order. And what it does normally, um, so I have one purchase order of 25 pieces, one of 10, one of 15. When I confirm the order, um, and I go to the shipment, I see two lines. Because that's, that's how it use, works in, uh, in version 9, 10 now also. Um, but the pack operations combine them. Uh, but the initial demand, the, there is a demand from one customer and there is a demand from another customer. Um, so here you will then be able to, uh, to say that's maybe lot one. Uh, yeah, need to. Ten. If uh, lot two, so that's the way uh, you receive things. Um, it's not much different from what you're used to, but I, um, yeah. My sale order. So my original sale orders. I will go to their deliveries, uh, and they will be available. And here you will see the what the lot that was assigned to them. What's possible now? So you see that the ten will will assign the 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 ten for the other, and the fifteen will assign the fifteen for the for for this order here. Um, what you can do also. We we define some things on the on the we define some things on the pe on the picking type. So you can say, don't show me the reserved. And then when you go here, you don't see uh, you don't see the reservation. So sometimes you want the picker needs to do what the system propose, proposes and needs to uh, the, pick, the the system says take me lot two and it goes to lot two and takes lot two. Uh, but sometimes the system will say, uh, uh, so sometimes uh, we don't care and the, the picker himself, I think that's more the simple, the simple implementations, the, they don't care and they, he just takes a lot and he fills it in. And that's why, uh, why we, we have this option on the, on the picking type. What's also possible is to, uh, is to show the operations like they were before. So you can also just show this immediately to your um, to your picker. And I can just say, okay, I have this 15 and I sent them, I sent them to my client. Um, but I've added a possibility um, in the in the roots into your uh, to your buy rule <coughs> to merge moves and um, what's going to happen then is that if you if you create a sale order if you do the same as we did before uh, to customer one um, where is it here?
and I duplicate it for customer two. Again, I uh, forgot if I confirmed the previous one. Yeah. Then and then I go to my purchase. Then I'm, and I confirm the order. Then you will see in the shipment that I have one line. And so if you have, uh, and normally this is working already, but because we have these two types of, of, of views, um, you can use this, you can, if you, you can also use it at received without saying what I receive is for, for this client and MTO. So yeah, it's a little bit more complicated. That's maybe more complicated. Uh, something more complicated but uh, yeah, I, I wanted to show you that so uh, and uh, yeah for example if here you um, you only do a, but normally this should work in the existing versions also and I create a back order because I did not have enough yeah um, Then I will see that one of the two might be available or, or not. Um, that one is, uh, yeah, 10 reserved. Yeah, that one has 10 reserved, but the other one, but then you can unreserve, what I want to say is that you can Unreserve them, and so the, those 35 can be for any of your, of you, any of your uh, clients. That's why that are related to that uh, picking. That's what I wanted to, to show. Okay, if there are uh, any questions, that now is the moment. Uh, hi, uh, listen to me, okay? Yeah, I hear you. Uh, hi, I'm Javi. Uh, first, uh, congratulations for the presentation. Uh, my English is not perfect, but I try, okay? Thank you. <coughs> uh, well, um, I have a problem when uh, I process a lot of, of mobile lines on the stop picking. For example, uh, when I have a, a set order, with uh, 300 uh, sale order line, and in the sale order line, uh, I have a roots, okay, and the roots um, uh, have uh, two picking out and one picking in, okay. When the problem is when I process, when I confirm the sale order, um, Odoo um, is slow, or for me, I think it's slow. Um, about three or five minutes uh, to to make uh, only three picking. I know that the picking is very big, but I, the process is uh, is slow for me. And the question is, uh, is possible uh, to get uh, better or to get better this or uh, other problem like this in the new version? Yes, we are we are looking into when you confirm a sale order to make it faster. I. I did it in the past, but I'm not sure that all the optimizations were nice code and were put in the last version. So we will again look at it to make it uh, faster. And I think also with the new model, you don't need to make the links anymore um, because the, they are made automatically almost. Um, I think it will be faster, yeah. But uh, yeah, it stays a big thing, uh, 300 lines. Uh, and the sale order and then pickings of, uh, of the 300 lines, it stays. Uh, but uh, I think it should be fast. OK, thank you.
And hi. Um, when you choose to uh, to group or not to group the the picking, uh, it's only in the in the view, uh, or you can uh, go back and show all the others uh, split again. It's um, not no the object the move is really put together, so it's not something that's done in the view. Um, but behind, because we have still got the procurements in the system. Uh, you still have the links and you okay. still have the so there's always a way to find back uh, okay. What, okay. what the origin was okay another question uh, is different uh, the improvements you make in the in the chatter uh, so you can now allow to to schedule an activity is system wide or only on the MRP module um, is a system wide improvement on yeah, the yeah of course it's system wide yeah oh, okay yeah there are a lot of people using Okay, thank you very uh, much. Already, it's just that we try to use it too. To, to yeah. other. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so.